Dear viewers, I'm planning on making some changes to my channel, so please give me your feedback and suggestions in the comment section as to what you'd like to see more of on this channel. And now to today's video. She gave me her big speech, and when she ended her presentation, I asked her if she had someone else in mind. It's not like we decided today that we were basically going out with other people tomorrow. Welcome to the Hullet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, my girlfriend asked for an open relationship and I just pointed her to the door. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. More and more women are reading about or seeing it on TikTok about how open relationships are this wonderful thing. The truth is, guys, if your woman comes to you and says she wants to open the relationship, odds are she's already cheating, has someone lined up, or is setting the stage to trade up to a target in her sights. I strongly believe that in monogamous relationships, when someone asked to open it, it's because that person saw someone or something else out there they wanted to try instead of working on the relationship. Basically, they're blindsiding their partner. Over the years, I've come to see this is very often true. On the subject of open relationships, men and women have vastly different experiences and motivations. For women, it's often about attention and validation. For men, it's usually purely about getting his cookies off without an emotional component. Either way, it is often a harbinger to the clouds of divorce and demise. I have been with Fran 36 over the last two and a half years, almost two as a couple. I thought that things were moving smoothly and was about to ask her to move in at the beginning of April. Slap to the back of the head. Yeah, you're not the first to think things going smoothly. Respectfully, since you are in your 40s, there's a reason why I say four to five years. It takes that long to fully vet a relationship partner, male or female. Guys, this is the time you stress test them, meaning go on trips and seeing how they handle travel, long lines, cancellations. Take them out of their comfort zones and see how they respond and learn about their core value systems and their family. I don't know for sure. However, I suspect you missed some micro indicators along the way here because this just didn't pop into her head. But lately, she was acting rather distant, so I decided to wait a little and watch. I was cheated on in the past, so I'm a little cautious with some signs. Manly pat on the back. That was a good call. Let me say now, I'm sorry about your past. However, it also made you wiser and stronger and gave you a masculine resolve to do what is necessary no matter how you feel about it. Let me say, stoicism for the win. Out of nowhere, this last Friday, she asked me to open the relationship. Okay, let me say this, and many of my female viewers may take exception, and the honest ones won't. Women are the masters of several things two of which are the ambush 
Those of you who live with a predatory cat know what I'm talking about. And the other is emotional manipulation. Out of nowhere, this last Friday, she asked me to open the relationship. She gave me her big speech, and when she ended her presentation, I asked her if she had someone in mind. It's not like we decided today and we were basically going out with other people tomorrow. I tricked her into telling me what I already knew. And yes, she had someone in mind, which means to me that either she already did it or she had it all set up. Only two years and she brings this up? I can't help but wonder if she knew you were going to have her move in and she thought, uh-huh, I got this guy, now I can eat my cake, then have it too. So I got up and walked around the apartment while she was trying to say that this could be a good thing for us and our relationship. By the time she finished talking, I handed her one of my sports bags with all her stuff in it and told her to leave and the spare key on the table on her way out. That we were done and she knew why. Alrighty, give me a high five. You handle that like a master chess player sacrificing the queen to win the game. Gentlemen, this is one of the ways you handle this. The only thing he could have done better is record the conversation as evidence. For when she inevitably lies to her friends and families as to what actually happened, in such cases, keep your cool and get the devices you need since you want to postpone this discussion until such time you can do that. So, if you should get ambushed, delay until you can be prepared to record it. Then, I went to the couch, turned on the TV, and just trying to look indifferent and save face. Good move. She was speechless for a while, about to cry, but before she could say anything, I told her that I didn't want to talk about anything and she should leave. You handled that like a pro gambler, knew when to fold and walk away from the table. As soon as she left, I felt like crap, so unworthy. I cried a little, and as of right now, I'm still mourning. Well, that is to be expected, and you do that shit with your bros, never in front of her guys. On a primal level, if she sees you cry, she will internalize that as a form of weakness. My phone has been almost nuclear with all the calls and texts I've received from friends on both sides about my extreme reaction to her simple request. Don't know what she told them. Okay, as I said, Eight out of ten times, they always lie to save their reputation and avoid any accountability. This is where you went wrong. Always control the narrative. You should have immediately called key people and told them what happened, and then sent out an official text or email release stating what happened and made it clear it's over and there will be no reconciliation. Remember guys, play chess, never play checkers. So now I'm sitting here wondering if I really went overboard and at the same time fighting the urge to run back to her. Because deep inside, even knowing my feelings for her are still there, the trust is gone and I'm not going to spend all my time watching her movements. It's not healthy. Maybe in time 
I really don't know. Before anyone points it out, yes, I know my reaction is pure reflection of me, not what she did or about to do or could do. So, did I go overboard? No, you did not. What you did was completely appropriate and most men would not have handled it as well as you did. I will ask a hard question. What is it in you that you keep attracting or being attracted to the cheater personality type? Let's be accountable here and acknowledge you were the factor in two failures. Therefore, you need to find and get a handle on this. I suggest a therapist who doesn't have blue hair, lots of tattoos, or facial piercings as a starting point. Lastly, I can't help but wonder what her mother was like and did you take a good look at her to see what her mom's value systems were. As they say, you want to know your future, look at her mom and parents relationship. If you and the 79.1% of men and the 20.9% of women found value in this channel, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. And everybody has a couple of friends like that. I'm sure you can think of someone. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to support each other and to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, go subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life, passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people, and this support helps me make more content for you.